Indicators of compromise, or IOCs, are data that indicate potential malicious activity in a network or computer system. They're an essential feature of any endpoint protection solution, like Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which provides multiple ways to add and manage IOCs. I'll demonstrate those options in this video and describe why you might choose one over another. Microsoft uses the same list of IOCs in multiple places, but you only create them once. To get a sense for how this works, look at the Manage Indicators article on Microsoft Docs. First, Microsoft Defender Antivirus honors the same list of IOCs and takes the appropriate action, like blocking the file when an IOC is discovered. Second, the Cloud Detection Engine in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint constantly scans data for matching IOCs and acts based on the settings you specify when you create them. And last, the Automated Investigation and Remediation Engine uses the same IOCs to ignore an allowed file or act on one that should be blocked during an automated investigation. Now that you know how Microsoft Defender for Endpoint uses IOCs, let's create some. That's next. One method to add an IOC in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is by manually creating it. To do that in the Microsoft Defender Security Center, select Settings, followed by Indicators. There are different types of IOCs you can add, including file hashes, IP addresses, and URLs and domains. For this example, I'll manually add a file hash indicator. In file hash, I'll paste the file hash that I previously copied to the clipboard. Then I could pick an expiration date for this indicator, but I'll just leave it to never expire. On the next page, I can choose what happens when Microsoft Defender for Endpoint finds this hash. I can allow it, doing nothing when this hash is found, raise an alert without taking any action, or raise an alert while also blocking and remediating the file. I'll select Alert Only and complete the information that will appear in the alert. This is just a demo, so I'll leave the alert severity as informational. On the Scope page, choose for this to be applied to all machines or only specific groups. I'll apply this to all machines, then review the summary and save it. In the next segment, I'll demonstrate how to batch import these indicators, saving you a good bit of time. Many customers already have IOCs from other sources and can export them to a CSV file. In that case, you can easily import these files into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to batch create IOCs. To import indicators, you need to have certain information in your CSV file. I'll download a sample CSV file and we'll look at its contents. Pretty simple structure. Notice that the expiration time on this one is blank. That means that it never expires. I used this example to create my own file, but I set them to alert and block with medium severity. I'm ready to import this, so I'll select the file and then select import. That's it. And by the way, if you're constantly adding to this CSV file, you can always re-import it and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint will only add the new IOCs rather than adding duplicates. Next. I'll show you how to add indicators from any entity page in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Another way to add indicators in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is within the context of an entity. For example, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint discovered this file as part of an automated investigation. When I open the file page to look at the details, I notice that the file name is suspicious, so I want to generate an alert when this file is seen in the future. To do that, I select Add Indicator, which opens the same indicator creation wizard I showed you earlier. The file hash is already there, so I just need to complete the wizard. This experience makes it easy to add IOCs during an investigation. Looking for something a bit more programmatic? Like an API? You can use the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint API to push IOCs. Your app will need permission to read and write all IOCs. For more information, see the article Pushing Custom IOCs to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint in the Microsoft Tech Community. The final method to add IOCs to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is through Partner Applications. To see which partners are already onboarded, open Partner Applications. This page contains the list of available partners with links to how to set them up. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides multiple ways to add custom indicators of compromise. 
You can learn more about IOCs in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Microsoft Docs.